Hello and welcome to the workshop. If you love sneakers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We upload a brand new video almost every single day. I'm just, I'm putting that out there, putting it into the universe for you to pick up and uh, subscribe. Now, a lot of people have been asking for this video specifically, a lot of you. This is a sneaker that had a lot of hype in the comfort department. React plus 270. And so we are here to tell you how it's held up and how it feels. We have conducted our infamous life test and have reached a verdict. So here is the Nike Air Max 270 React after two months of wearing. An official update, the pros and the cons. First things first, the sneaker costs $150 in stores, but you can find them for much cheaper online if you look around a little bit. And they do fit true to size, in my opinion. If you have any doubts about the sizing, just go into your local sneaker store and try a pair on. Nothing beats that, honestly. And this is a pair of sneakers that most stores are gonna have. So it's not like it's gonna be hard for you to find. Now, the main thing with this sneaker is comfort, right? That's what everyone was excited about, curious about, us included. My brother and I, when we heard there was a sneaker with React and 270, it was like the lights from heaven shone down upon us. The birds started chirping and singing. It was a glorious moment. What an incredible combination. React is amazing. The Air Max 270 is awesome, so combining them might be even more awesome. You'd think so anyway, but no. Negatron, it is not so. This is actually not a very comfortable sneaker. Of course, everything is relative. I love Nikes, I do, but Nike makes a plethora. They make a ton of sneakers that are way more comfortable than these, they just do. Two things, number one, and I mentioned this even in our initial review, we'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check out that video if you feel so inclined, but the transition while you're walking is off. It isn't smooth, the air you unit in the back. It angles your foot in kind of a weird way and there's really no mobility to it. You'd almost need some clever flex groove on the outsole, something to make that walking stride more smooth. Or maybe the 270 air unit, maybe it's just too chunky because the whole shoe, it ends up feeling very clunky and it ends up feeling like two separate sneakers almost, two separate aspects if that makes sense. Like there's no unison there's no harmony it's just not a cohesive thing and i don't think they executed blending those two different technologies into one at least not yet and not with this pair of sneakers now knowing nike i'm sure they'll iron it out but it has not happened yet initially i thought well maybe fresh out of the box they feel like that but they'll break in not the case. They break in a little bit, maybe, but generally speaking, the comfort does not improve all that much, if at all. It's also not an athletic sneaker per se. It isn't built for performance. It's a casual lifestyle sneaker. And so comfort is even more vital, right? If you're gonna be walking around in them all day, it has to be cozy and these are not. Now, I love the look of them, but the comfort just isn't there. Now, I said there were two things. One is the transition when you walk and two is the material that they chose to use. It's a cloth-like material, so it gets a little wrinkly, almost has a baggier fit as opposed to a fly knit or a mesh or something that really forms to your foot and kind of hugs your foot. It is a pretty durable sneaker, I'll say that, all things considered, pretty rugged outsole, and the whole sneaker is held up pretty well. Keep in mind, if you spill anything on the shoe, it's not gonna be the easiest to clean, so they're not durable or rugged in that sense. Like, this is cloth, so it's gonna 
stain a lot easier. If you get them wet, it's not gonna roll off. It's gonna kind of saturate and seep through. Maybe not the best option if you're outside braving the elements, but I do gotta say we've had them for two months. I've worn them quite a bit and they have held up. So the proof is in the pudding at the end of the day. Overall, I'd give them a six out of 10. It isn't a bad sneaker. It isn't a great sneaker, kind of middle of the road, but considering all the potential they had, definitely a little disappointing. I still like this pair and I'm still gonna wear them. I'm still gonna break them out here and there. Not worthy of being in the regular rotation though, not in my opinion anyway. And there you have it. There it is. The official update on the Nike Air Max 270 React has been conducted and completed. The good, the bad, and the mediocre. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about these. Do you have a pair? How do you feel about the comfort? If you do, were you a little underwhelmed like we were, or do you think they are Cozy Boy certified? And which sneaker should we put through the gauntlet next? The life test is a grueling, grueling thing. Sneakers gotta be on their A game. You know this if you are familiar with the channel. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel though. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Minyana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop. Until then, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. I got nothing else. Adios.